Okay. Well, tell me about this ranking, or what, what does it mean for you guys? What's it mean for the state of Ohio? Well, it, what it really does is it uh, helps us uh, focus where our program investments are, and it, it's a way for us to tell the state uh, for the investments that they've made in the OERDC uh, what the, that, that impact is in terms of the economy of the state. Now, you testified, was it last week before Senate Ag? That's correct. And what did you tell them? What, well, we told them about some of the exciting research that's going on. Uh, we have a lot of different uh, programs that I think will have impact uh, in the future. We talked about, for example, the source of domestic uh, rubber that uh, has uh, potential uh, being grown as a crop in this state. It's a, it's a dandelion, but uh, latex out of that uh, can be a source of domestic rubber. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about uh, looking at probiotics and how those can be encapsulated uh, uh, for use uh, uh, in our food system in the future, and uh, just some really interesting projects that I think will have a, a great impact on the state. Are you getting a feeling yet for where things stand on the state budget and how it's going to affect you guys? No, we haven't. Uh, we've talked to a lot of people and, and uh, certainly been talking about the different uh, programs that we're excited about. Uh, I think the information has been well received and people seem appreciative of knowing more about the programs. Uh, hopefully, uh, when the uh, House comes out with its budget numbers, uh, maybe we'll know a little bit more. Okay. Uh, controlling board set to vote on releasing this million some dollars for I think it's for the design of this facility on campus. Actually, we're at, we have the design uh, okay. uh, for the facility. It's a plant and animal agro security facility, uh, and what this uh, meeting uh, uh, is right now is the final steps before we go forward uh, for bidding the project. So, assuming that. Uh, everything goes well in the next week and that we get some good bids, uh, hopefully we'll be uh, in the process of uh, building uh, uh, that building uh, come this fall. Have you broken ground at all on it? We've not broken ground uh, because uh, right now all we have authorization to do is the planning. Okay. And we've done all of that. Uh, now now we need to, as I say, get to the shovel ready stage and move. Can you describe why... What is this building and why is it important to have an OERDC? Well, we have an internationally known uh, group of faculty that, that work on infectious diseases of food, animals, and of plants. And uh, we have a global society right now, so we see uh, organisms moving all throughout the world. What we have to be able to do is to be proactive about putting our, our uh, people in, that are growing plants and animals in the state, uh, being able to be ahead of the curve when these disease problems show up, rather than being reactive and once you have a problem, then trying to solve it. So this facility essentially, essentially lets us get ahead of the curve, have things in place uh, before these uh, diseases occur. This has been a long time coming, hasn't it? Well, it has. I mean, uh, basically, uh, uh, a lot of the work uh, that uh, uh, would be done in the facility is the kind of work uh, that, that we've been doing. Uh, but over time, I mean, our facility is getting quite old. Uh, uh, technology has improved. Uh, requirements uh, have uh, changed in terms of expectations on facilities, which is, happens in all of biology. But, uh, certainly now is the time that we need to be doing this. Uh, we have uh, faculty that, that are competing with the very best out there, and we need to make sure uh, that they have the resources to, to compete fairly. And does that provide a boost for the ag research project that's in the works? Well, absolutely it does. I mean, uh, right now we're in a position that we've uh, not applied for some grants simply because we've not had uh, the facilities to do some of the work, and we've, in fact, turned down the projects in the past. It's not a position that we want to be in, particularly uh, where these things are consistent with the needs of the state. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and then more.